Tonight, this mangled mess is all that's left after Caltrain hit a car and dragged it half a mile down the track. Devin Feely is in Menlo Park tonight. Devin? Yeah, in, in the wake of this tragic accident, the, the intersection behind me remains completely closed. You can hear, perhaps, there is a train that is approaching as construction crews are racing now to fix some of the damage done by this horrific collision. I saw the, tr the car, my girlfriend and I were walking and we're like, oh my God, we, that's horrible. This was all that was left of the car that collided with the train, mangled metal broken beyond repair or recognition. A Caltrain spokesperson says the driver of the car got stuck on the tracks as a train barreled towards the intersection. It's one of the things we try to tell people is don't stop on the tracks. You don't start across the tracks till you're sure you can get all the way across. And she just got caught in traffic and um, apparently wasn't paying real close attention. The fire department rescued the woman from the car and rushed her to the hospital where she would later die. Passengers say the crossing where the crash happened is a busy and congested intersection, an accident, some say, waiting to happen. The traffic here at this intersection will back way up, and then people will try and sneak across and hope that they clear the intersection. And in this case, the gal was just sitting there. There's um, traffic all the time. I see people stop on the tracks all the time, and I just wonder why are they doing that? The crash destroyed one of the guardrails that's supposed to prevent cars from driving onto the tracks when a train's approaching. Southbound trains were stopped for several hours during the accident investigation and cleanup stranding countless passengers during their evening commute. Now, Caltrain says that they will be working throughout the night to make the repairs. They say that their goal is to have this busy intersection reopen in time for the morning commute. In Menlo Park, Devin Feely, KPIX 5. In a separate incident, about 90 minutes ago, Caltrain hit and killed a man in a tunnel in San Francisco. There have now been six deaths on the tracks this year compared to 10 all of last year.